clothes out of her um, fall and winter bin. Um, so to start out explaining how we organize, um, each child has a two bins actually. So they have a fall winter bin and they have a spring summer bin. This way um, if I get some clothes given to me for the kids or if I happen to see them, like I have a good sale or something, I can get them and put them right into their bins rather than um, what has happened before is I've stuck them in a bag someplace and then by the time I find them, the season's passed. And it made me really sad because they were some really cute stuff. Um, that happen actually happened, I think, with Rebecca one time. Um, so that's what I do. And then because I have Rebecca is is a couple years older. Um, what I do for her hand-me-downs, Emma has an extra bin of that's just labeled too big. And um, the, Rebecca's stuff will go in there when she outgrows it. Um, and then Jonathan, since we are all done having kids, um, his things go into a bag and our church does an annual clothing giveaway. So that is actually coming up next week or actually this weekend. So I figured I better start going through the kids' clothes, um, especially their bins. Um, their dressers still need to be gone through a little bit, but I want to start with their um, storage bins first and um, see what I have too much of and what I might need. So when I go shopping or um, have some extra clothes money or something, I can pick up. So it's good to have that. Um, and I haven't done my lists yet this year. So all I've done is I've started pulling out Emma's stuff. I've gone through what is either going to be too small or things that has been given to me that I really know I that I don't like. Emma's not much into the fashion choices yet. So there's a couple outfits that I know that I don't like. Um, so I did go ahead and start my giveaway pile. Um, just like this Christmas dress is really pretty. But I actually had two Christmas dresses given to me. So we're going to go ahead and um, give those to the clothing giveaway. And now what I'm doing, I've had, I have them sorted out a little bit by type. Um, I've done the preliminary sorting. Um, and now I'm just starting a rough list. It's really rough. It's nothing um, very fancy. But I'm going to list um, all... See if I can move this. All the necessities down the side, and then I'm going to mark off who has what and who needs what. This is a little big on me. Yeah, but those shoes are a little big on you, Emma, so they're not going to fit you this year. Um, so then I can sort of get an idea of where we're at. So I've listed everything down the side that I can think of. Hopefully, I remembered everything. So here's what I have as far as necessities. Now we're pretty simple. Um, we are blessed to, to know people that give us lots of clothes and um, to be able to find what we usually do is um, take a trip once a year to a thrift store and buy the kids the clothes mostly for the whole year. We do that in the springtime. Um, so we do have plenty of clothes but we tend to be very simple as far as not, um, a, you know, a million pairs of shoes or something for each kid. So um, this is pretty much the necessities that I can think of that we usually make sure they have. Um, undies, socks, tights. Now, obviously, that's just for the girls. So, you know, Jonathan's is already marked off. He does not need tights or leggings. Um, undershirts, jammies. Now, the way we break up our clothes is we have our nice clothes, which is anything we could wear like going out into the public. And then we have our play clothes because they like to go get dirty in the backyard. This way I'm not worrying about them ruining their nice clothes. 
um, and they can just go dig in the dirt and the sand and get all dirty and stain their clothes and it's not a big deal. Um, so I have short sleeve nice shirts, long sleeve nice shirts, short sleeve play shirts and long sleeve play shirts, um, nice pants and play pants. Um, a lot of the play pants we just do, you know, cheap sweatpants or if they have jeans that get holes in the knees, they get into the pay play pants drawer. Um, they do need a swimsuit, yes, for the fall and winter. We do go to um, the YMCA and go swimming. We try to go once a week, so um, they definitely need to have a swimsuit. Um, then we usually, like I was saying about the shoes, pretty basic a pair of tennis shoes and then um, hopefully a pair of play shoes for the backyard um, the girls I like them to have black, a pair of black shoes and a pair of brown shoes to go with their outfits um, for like church um, if we can't then it's not a huge deal if we can just get a black pair or a brown pair um, they all need boots it is Michigan, so we need a coat and hat and gloves and a snowsuit to play in. Um, the girls need dresses and skirts for church. Um, they just like to dress up in the dresses. I actually haven't worn a dress to church in I don't know how long, but it's, um, it's just kind of tradition with the little girls. We put them in the dresses. Um, cardigans, I really live by cardigans. Um, what I mean is just, um, especially just the little like half shrug sweater things for the little girls. What I find is they can extend their summer outfits, you know, like the, um, the sleeveless summer dresses. If you throw, and I will show you, let's see if I can find one. Let's see if I can find one and show it to you. So this is, you know, just like a little half sweater thing that for Emma in the fall and she can take a sleeveless summer dress and put this on over it and it turns into a fall outfit. Um, so I like to have at least one or two for each of the girls so we can extend their outfits. Um, we also need hoodies for each kid, jackets, and a Christmas outfit. Um, usually just one Christmas outfit does it. We don't have to worry about too many um, things. So that is basically our list of what we figure is needed for the fall and winter. So now I'm going to go ahead and go through the piles. Oops. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the piles and then... Um, see where we're at for Emma. Hi, so this is where it gets hard for me. I did um, start going through her long sleeve nice shirts. She has six in the bin now, um, and then which I think is plenty. Seven is definitely plenty. Um, but we have two white shirts here, and I really don't care for white shirts for little kids because they tend to get stained up really easily. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep one of these and actually Emma gets to pick which shirt she would like to keep. So Emma, do you like this one or do you like this one? You like Both, but I like this better. You like that one better? That one's it's San Francisco. We've never been, but it's a neat shirt. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that in your bin it's and then... I, I like it because it was pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. And this one is nice, but we don't need two white shirts, do we? So we can put that. Someone will be able to get that from the clothing giveaway for their little girl. So here's another bin we also have. Um, it's kids. Oops, can you see it? Kids gloves, jackets, coats. Um snow pants, boots, etc, etc, whatever fits. Um, so I have stuff in here left over from last year. These are Jonathan's snow pants that are probably going to be passed down to Rebecca this year. In the same way, Rebecca's snow pants being passed down to Emma this year. Um, and then Jonathan will be the only one that needs a brand new pair of snow pants. Um, 
also we were fortunate to find nice coats for like they were like half off I think last um, at the end of the season last year so we do have um, brand new coats for all the kids this year um, and I did go ahead and buy new heavy gloves and hats um, for each of them when they were half off um, I do have to go through this is every year we have this big pile of random stuff left over um, single gloves and things so I'm going to go ahead and go through um, whatever we have um, left that's still good will be used for like the backyard for working and playing um, so we'll go ahead and put those back in I also need to check on the boot situation I have a couple pair of hand-me-downs I did I do not think I found any brand new boots last year at the end of the season um, for the kids usually I try to do that so this year we're going we might end up having to buy brand new boots or um, I'll look at the thrift stores and see if I can find any um, at least I know for Jonathan um, the girls might be able to wear some of these ones that we have so I have to go through and check on those as well this is what Emma's list looks like now um, so I do see that she's going to need socks she's going to need a couple other undershirts she needs a pair of tennis shoes possibly a pair of play shoes if we can find them at a thrift store um, same thing with brown shoes if we can find them um, she's going to need boots actually I don't know what happened to our boots that Rebecca used to have I'm going to check the garage but I'm they must have got ruined or something um, so I'm going to have to look for those for her um, and then just a jacket but all in all we don't need much for Emma which makes sense because a lot of this is hand-me-down from Rebecca and then she, she also has um, another older cousin um, so on to Rebecca's and Rebecca's bin is pretty empty she's going to be the one I think that needs the most stuff this year so um, we're gonna go ahead and go through her stuff it's pretty good timing I forgot those were coming today um, we're working on the clothes and what should come but Jonathan's school clothes for the year that's one benefit of going to the school that he goes to is they they're not exactly uniforms but they have a strict um, dress code they can wear about four different colors of pants and then um, last year in the elementary building they only could wear a certain color polo shirts but this year they can wear any color they want as long as it's a solid color so Jonathan's going to do his unboxing of his school clothes are you excited John So that was really easy. All I did was go online and Whoa. order all of them, and there, here they are. Simple. Can you get into it? That's the, I think you opened up the bottom. Oops. You put it down on the floor so we can see. So let's see all the different colors that Jonathan got. We got, let's see, we got, wait a minute, let Jonathan hold them up. He's got yellow, alright, red, he got dark green, he got royal blue, he got, oops, hang on, here's another shirt. And he got orange, so I ordered him five new shirts. He does have a few shirts from last year that he can still wear as backups, but this way he's got a shirt um, for every day of the week. 
You like the colors, John? Nice bright colors this year. And then pants are really uninteresting. We got two pair of black pants and two pair of dark blue pants. We don't generally do the khaki because we tend to get pen and stains all over them. So And we can keep the box. So those are his school clothes and we only do the four pants because on Fridays they're allowed to wear jeans if they pay a dollar. Um, which goes towards getting a bus for the field trips. Um, so he can wear jeans on Friday and then a school t-shirt if we end up getting one. So would you like to try on one of your outfits? Okay. Go try one on. Make sure they fit. Get a pair of pants too. <laughs>